So in this question, we are given this uh, system of equations. First one is linear, the second is quadratic in x. They're saying, what is the possible value of x uh, if they intersect at this ordered pair x, y? So I'm not really sure what the point of this question is because you can easily just graph this in the calculator and just find the points of intersection. And you'll see one is x equal to 11, the other is minus 15. Only minus 15 is in the answer choice, so the answer is A. So this question really doesn't test anything other than just um, being able to use the calculator. Um, so I'm not sure if SAT will continue because this is just the set of practice tests that they've released, but this question makes no sense to me. Um, now, if you had to do it uh, and if you didn't have the calculator, um, then the way you would do this is to eliminate the y term. Um, this is obviously not relevant for this particular question because you have the graphing calculator, uh, but perhaps in a different context. So uh, 2x squared equal to y plus 341, and that means y is minus 8x minus 11. Substitute that here. And then that becomes 2x squared equal to minus 8x plus 330. Divide both sides by 2, 165. And we get the corresponding quadratic, which you can either graph it again, but since we're doing it this way, product 165, 11, 15, Get a little bit harder. Um, x plus 15, x minus 11, and the two values would be minus 15 and 11 as they should. Uh, but obviously, again, should just be using calculator if this is how it's going to be exactly asked in the exam. So the answer is A.